Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are iPhone features that are hidden within iOS 13 and are really, really cool and of course will help you a lot on the daily use of your iPhone. The first trick can be used when you want to share a website with someone. It is really cool and of course very very useful. So here I'm on the Apple website. If I want to share this website with someone and I just want to like specify something that is said on this website, all I have to do is just go ahead and select that part of the text so this part right here now what i can do here is just go ahead and tap the share button of course to share the website if i want to send it on imessage here you can see that part right there seeing a watch that's the part that we have selected so any like part of the text that's on a website that you select and then you share the website with someone that will be right there as the title of that website when you share it on the camera of your iPhone, you can of course take a picture or tap and hold right here to start recording a video. But you can also quickly take a video simply by pressing the volume down button. So just press and hold and it will start taking a quick video. Now I keep holding to take the video and once you release it, it's done. It will be stopped and you will have that video saved under the camera roll. The next couple of tricks can be done on the phone app. So when you're entering a phone number, you want to quickly delete there the last number. All you have to do is just swipe like left or right. Doesn't matter. It will still delete the last number. And what if you have like entered a number by mistake here? So it will be very hard to press and hold there and wait for the cursor to show up right there to just place it anywhere you want to delete that number that you have entered by mistake. But what you can do is just go ahead and tap right there to basically just place the cursor anywhere you want and then just swipe like this and you can go ahead and move the cursor and now of course release it anywhere you want to edit a number. On your iPhone on iOS 13, of course, you can undo by shaking your device. That's the old style. Or you can swipe with three fingers to the left to undo and three fingers to the right to redo. But if you tap with three fingers, you will also get a menu right here on the screen where you will have those actions. And you can quickly undo simply by double tapping with three fingers on the screen of your iPhone just like that. And you can quickly undo anything that you have done. Also, a very, very cool trick on the keyboard of your iPhone. If you go to the numbers right here and you need to enter the degree symbol on any text, like, let's say like 25, we want to say degrees there. All you have to do is just tap and hold the zero and it will show you the degree symbol. And you can go ahead and add it on any text you want. On the files app, you can quickly rename any file that you have. All you have to do is just double tap on the name right there and it will give you the option to rename that file. Now I'm here on iOS 14, so the interface will be a bit different. It will show a bit larger if you're on iOS 13, but all you have to do is just double tap on the name right there of any file and you will have the option to quickly rename it. Another very useful thing that you can do on the files app is turn any of your images into PDF files. So if you have an image and you need that to be a PDF file, you just 3D touch on any image and you will have here a button that says right here at the bottom, create PDF, and then it will just automatically like that, turn that into a PDF file. So here we have it. Now we have that as a PDF file, not an image. You can quickly change the text size of your iPhone simply by going to the control center and 3D touching on those two A's right there and you will get this option where you can go ahead and change the text size. Also you notice that it says text size there that will indicate how big the text or how small the text is. So 3 is the default you can go of course 3 levels up or 3 levels down. And if you don't see this on your control center, make sure you go to settings and you go to control center and right here you will need to go to customize control center and make sure you have added text size to the control center. And then of course you will get that button for quick access to text size. If you have your AirPods connected to your iPhone and you want to rename them, then you can go to the Bluetooth section on the settings app. Just tap at the I button right there and you will have the option here to go to name and rename that to anything you want. Now with iOS 14, you can do that with any other Bluetooth device. But if you're on iOS 13, you can do that just with the AirPods. 
The next one is a very useful hidden feature within the iMessage app. So you get a text from someone and you want to share it with someone else. So let's say it's a big text, like it's a large text. You don't want to have to type that again or copy and paste that and all that stuff. Or it contains some information that you just want to share with someone. Then you can do that quickly from the messages app. All you have to do is just go ahead and select the message that you want to basically forward to someone. So you can type with two fingers to start selecting any message here, or you can just go to the selection menu and just go ahead and select any text you want by clicking here. Then just tap this little arrow and it will automatically place the text right here on the text field. Now all you have to do is just go ahead and choose the contact to which you want to send that text and you're good to go. When you're on an email, if you just tap the trash button, it will automatically delete that email from your mailbox. But what if you just want to archive it or you just want to move it to the trash, you want to choose whichever one you want. All you have to do is just tap and hold there the button and it will show you like options here. So you will have trash message or archive message and you will have the option to choose from here. So just tap and hold right there and you will get this little menu. On Safari, if you go to the history, then you will have the option here to go ahead and delete the history. Of course, if you tap on clear, you can clear the last hour today, today and yesterday or all time. But you will also have the option to clear any one of the history items individually. All you have to do is just swipe like this and you will get the option to delete them from the history, any one that you want individually. On Safari, if you go to the tabs view while you're on the portrait mode, you can rearrange them by dragging one of them, just tap and hold and drag them like this. But the things will change if you're on portrait on landscape mode. So when you go to the landscape mode, all you have to do is just tap and hold one of them. And then you can go ahead and rearrange tabs by title or arrange tabs by website. So you will get these new options that you don't get when you're on the portrait mode. When you take a live picture on your iPhone, you can go ahead and tap the edit button and right here we'll find like the options to edit the picture. And if you tap on the live right here, of course you can edit the live picture. But what if you want to turn a live picture into just a normal picture? All you have to do is just tap that live button right there, that yellow live button, click done, and now this will be just like a normal picture. So if you send it to someone, it will be a simple picture, not a live picture. On the iMessage app, if you want to send a picture to someone, you take a photo here, what you can do is tap on effects and here you can go ahead and choose the Memoji stickers and you can add any of your Memoji stickers to that picture. So all you have to do is just go ahead and drag that Memoji sticker and of course from here we'll have the option to resize it, place it anywhere you want on the screen and then send the picture to someone with that Memoji included. So as easy as that, just enter any of the Memojis, just drag them, resize them, place them anywhere you want on the picture. There are also some really cool hidden filters within iMessage. So if you go to take a picture and you go ahead and tap on filters, then you will get some really, really cool filters. So what you have to do is take a picture and from here go to effects. And once you go to effects, you will find here the filters. If you tap right there, you will find some really, really cool filters that you cannot find on the photos on the camera app of the iPhone. There are just some simple ones and here we'll find some really, really cool ones that you cannot find on the sim on the camera app of your iPhone. On your iPhone using a filter, it is really cool that now you can go ahead and edit basically the amount of filter that you choose. So from here, if we go ahead and apply the filter, so let's apply a filter here, take a picture. Now, if I go to edit this picture, you will notice that right here, once I go to edit and go to filters, I will have the slider right here at the bottom, which allows me to set the amount of the effect added to the picture by that filter. So that is it for this video guys. These are 18 really, really cool and useful iPhone tricks that I believe every iPhone user should know and use them on their iPhone. Of course, always on iOS, there are hidden tricks and hidden features that will make your life easier using your iPhone. So I try to find as much as I can of them and of course share them with you guys so you learn them and you use them on your iPhone. So of course, these tricks can be found on iOS 13 and iOS 14 as well. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you guys on the next one.